There is nothing more disheartening and frustrating and honestly quite heartbreaking than watching your child struggle through chronic health issues or even going through chronic health issues yourself. If you've clicked on this video, you may be in this place where you've exhausted all of your resources. You've tried numerous therapies, cleanses, detoxes, diets, supplements, and you've gotten somewhere but not fully where you need to be. You've exhausted the conventional medical approach and it even, even seems like you've exhausted the holistic medical approach. So there's a reason for all of this. There's something out there called subluxation, which is a big, fancy, confusing word for nervous system dysregulation, which basically means your body is stuck in fight or flight, and it is not adapting to its environment as effectively as it should. When the nervous system is stuck in this pattern, we see shutdown of healthy bodily functions that should happen naturally and automatically, like proper gut function, immune system function, happy hormone production, fertility, sleep function, and all the functions that keep us thriving, happy, and healthy. When these systems are going haywire, this will then affect our cognitive and emotional functions. We're going to be easily irritated, anxious, depressed, brain fogged, and exhausted, and probably more likely prone to tantrums. Does that sound familiar, like your toddler potentially? If you're a human on this earth, you've probably experienced some degree of some of these symptoms before. Let's face it. You see, this is what we see in our office every single day, these chronic struggles. 10 to 15 years ago, offices like ours saw these same struggles where the patients had exhausted all the conventional medical approaches for these problems, but they'd not yet tried an alternative or holistic approach for their issues. Then fast forward to now, the alternative holistic approach is now the new buzzword. So people are losing trust in that conventional medical sick model, and they're actually looking for other therapies, which is awesome. We should be looking for more answers for our health. And now we're seeing the really complex cases where people have exhausted both the medical conventional system and the holistic routes, and they're actually still stuck and looking for answers. Why is this? They can throw every supplement, essential oil, massage, OT, PT, and everything they can at that issue from an external standpoint. But if the nervous system, which is deep inside you, is shut down or stressed out, it will not adapt to all these wonderful things that we're throwing at it the same way that it would have if it were regulated and balanced and able to take in those healthy nutrients and supplements and therapies. So the cool thing about this is that the types of patients that we see that they're coming in now, dye-free, gluten-free, doing all the extra work in OT and PT, taking the supplements and they've tried all the detoxes. The good news about that is that their progress with our care is going to happen a lot quicker than those that have not done that extra work and education on all those wonderful things. When we have to educate those types of patients where they don't really know anything about food dyes or gluten and the harmful effects of toxins in our environment on their bodies, um, those types of patients need more rigorous care plans and take a little bit longer to get there, but that all happens with its own time in our office. The answers are truly hidden in plain sight. The answers are actually really quite simple. It lies in the nervous system, the master controller of all the functions in your body, the stomach, digestion, elimination, hormone production, mental health, breathing, immune system resilience, the list goes on. It literally controls everything in your body. So instead of throwing all these individual specific treatments at every individual symptom we have going on, we have to look at one thing. Where is stress in the nervous system and is it fully adapting to our environment? In our office, we do nervous system scans, actually three of them, which differentiate us from your standard chiropractor that's just looking to alleviate your pain and be a quick fix for you. We want to see how your nervous system is adapting to its environment, where it's storing that stress and what to adjust on you specifically to release that stress and tension, tension pattern from your body. Here's an example of one of our three scans that we take in our office. So I'm gonna show you our inflammation scan. So right here, as you can see, make sure it's in the center here, I've circled the areas where there's more um, chronic inflammation in this person's body. 
So this is just an example of our thermal scan. It picks up surface heat from the body off the spine, and the spine is what houses your nervous system. So as you can see by this graph here, we're seeing on this scan that this person has interference at the upper neck level, the mid back level, and into that mid to low gut up level of the body. So we're seeing where the, the nervous system is being interfered with. So where that information from the brain to the body and the body to the brain is being bogged down or disorganized. And so that person is not as able to heal to those supplements, uh, those diet changes, those detoxes, if their nervous system is looking like this. And so this is a prime example of what we see all the time in our office where people have tried everything and it's still not giving them the best results that they're looking for. And so this is why we take just one of these three scans. Um, we do all three scans on anyone over the age of five in our office to see how their nervous system is adapting to their environment, where, the, where it's storing that stress, and how we can unwind and release that for them through specific neurological care plans that are tailored to them and their issues specifically. This is after we take a detailed health history on these patients to see what their history looks like, all the things they've tried in the past, and what's worked for them and what hasn't worked for them. We look into the trauma that they've had, the birth trauma they've had, the conception journey of their parents, all the little different things that your doctor might not actually ask you because there's keys and answers and solutions in that history and in these scans that we see that are connected with the current symptoms that they're experiencing. Um, so if this sounds like you, if this sounds like your child, please give us a call. We wanna be the people to help you. We can connect you with someone that can help you if you're not local, um, but this is something we see all the time and there is and are answers for you out there as a parent. Have a wonderful day.